Hey y'all, it's Nick from Theater Productions, and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the trade that sent Trey Mancini to the Astros in a three-team deal that also involved the Tampa Bay Rays. Before we get started, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Who did you think won this trade? This is a rare three-team deal. I think the only one at the trade deadline. So, did the Astros win? Did the Rays win? Did the Orioles win? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so this is a little confusing. This is my second try at this. Trey Mancini goes to the Orioles. The Astros send Jose Siri to the Rays and Chase McDermott to the Orioles. And then the Rays are sending Seth Johnson to the Orioles and Jaden Murray to Houston. So, I learned this. Trey Mancini, of course, the headliner of this deal. We got, he's hitting 268 this year in 355 at bats, uh, 41 RBIs, 749 OPS, with career numbers of a 270 average, 117 career home runs, uh, 797 OPS, and a 115 OPS plus for his career. We look back just a season ago to 2021. In 147 games, he hit 255, 21 home runs, 71 RBIs and a 758 OPS plus of course 2020 he had uh, cancer of course recovered which makes 2021 remarkable so his last really like healthy full season was 2019 where he hit 291 35 home runs 899 OPS just an absolute stud the year before hit two uh hit 242 so not as good 2017 hit 292 but when healthy, Mancini, in home run numbers between the 20s, mid-20s, uh, hit 21 last year, 10 this year, of course. He's had a down year, but again, he's playing with the Orioles, lots of things going on. And now he's getting a fresh start in Houston. And in Houston, you know, he's going he, he's gonna to have a lot more protection in that lineup. Overall, a much better team. So you wonder if going into an environment like that, if that's going to help Trey Mancini. Also, another major league player in this trade, Jose Siri. This year, he's batting 174 with three home runs, 10 RBI, six stolen bases, 233 on base percentage, 530 OPS. Career numbers not very impressive. 207 average, uh, 261 on base percentage, 636 OPS. Covering the prospects in this trade, the Astros. Also got Jaden Murray. So uh, Jaden Murray, 25 year old, 109, six foot one, 190 pounds. Excuse me. 55 fastball, 55 slider, 45 changeup, 60 control, overall 40. Uh, he's a right-handed pitcher in the on the Double A team. He is the Astros' number 30 ranked prospect. The Orioles now, they're the team that gets the big return. Orioles got two players, both within uh, their rank number 8 and 12 in their organization. You got Seth Johnson, a 23-year-old right-handed pitcher, 6'1", 200 pounds, 60 fastball, 45 curveball, 55 slider, 45 changeup, 50 control, overall 50. He is getting Tommy John surgery this week, however, so it's going to be a long road ahead of him. But overall, seems to be a very promising pitcher. Another pitcher going to the Orioles in this, Chase McDermott, 23 years old, 6'3", 197 pounds. He has a 55 fastball, 55 curveball, 55 slider, 45 changeup, 45 control for an overall of 45. There's a lot of moving parts in this deal and lots to un... un Un uncover you know jose series slotting in the rays team the rays they fix basically everyone they're a very interesting team i don't know who's not played well on the rays it's interesting uh that they they get involved in this but it seems that uh they had seth johnson which the uh, orioles definitely wanted for trey mancini trey mancini of course going to the astros um he's I think he's going to do a lot better. His numbers are going to pick up from the, where he's at right now at his 268 average. I do see that average uh, rising some. The short Crawford box in the left field, I think his power is going to be up a little bit. Of course, uh, the Orioles stadium got like pushed back. So, you know, I feel like Mancini's power numbers are a little bit down. Maybe a few more doubles 
We look at his stats right now, 2022, 16 doubles. Last year, he, in 2021, he had 33. So he was about halfway there in 93 games played. So, and then, of course, the Orioles get a couple top prospects. You know, the Orioles, I think this is a very good trade for you. You Overall, you're getting two, two right-handed pitchers, 8 and 12 in your organization for Trey Mancini, who... Was a solid player. I feel like it definitely was worth it. I think that was great value for the Orioles. Look at the Rays. I'm not sure if I like this trade. The Astros, you know, you're pushing for it. You're first place in the AL West. You have another reasonable shot to get back to the World Series. You know, they made some moves. They're pushing for it. So overall, I like this trade for the Astros. I like this trade for the Orioles, the Rays. I'm not a big fan of it for them being involved. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, who won this trade? Which one, one of the teams won? Who do you think lost? Let me in the comment section below. Let's have a discussion. Hit that like button, subscribe. Come back in the next video. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.